Hey guys, it's me, Kat. Sam's here too, and we're gonna start a new series. It's called Foodie Fridays. Yay! It's the first one. I put up a picture on Instagram a while back of this homemade salsa ranchera sauce that I made, and I actually got the idea from Coffee Break with Danny, and uh, she had taken some like tomatoes from her fridge that were about to go bad and some other vegetables and she made the sauce this uh like salsa and so i was like i have homegrown tomatoes and i had an abundance of it and i started making it and then when i posted this picture you guys said you guys wanted to see how i made it so if you want to know how i did it keep on watching all right so let me just go through all the ingredients that i have these are some tomatoes that have been pre-cut and the reason why is this comes from my organic garden from my backyard and sometimes we have a situation like that so I will just cut those off and remove the situation because we won't eat that part. And uh, yeah, we will also have any peppers that are left over. I have half a red onion, I'm sorry, red bell pepper some jalapenos, some key limes. I'm not even sure why I had those. I have half a white onion and some fresh cilantro. And I forgot to point it out, but I had like one green onion that I'm gonna chop up as well. And this is what we call the mother. Danny from Coffee Break with Danny. She takes um, some of the salsa that she makes and put it into the freezer and adds it to every single batch. So you always have a batch of the quote unquote mother salsa in every batch. So here you just see I chopped off roughly some tomatoes and then I'll roughly chop up the red bell pepper. I don't make try to make it nice or neat or anything like that because I will take an immersion blender to it roughly chop up some onions again you don't have to be perfect we're going to be throwing into a blender chop up the jalapenos i personally don't use the seeds because that'll make it hotter you can choose to do so um, and roughly chop this as well chop up the green onions or onion singular And then we'll get started. I use avocado oil and my frying pan. When the pan is hot, put some oil. The first thing I'll put in is the onions and saute them till they get a little bit translucent. Once they're translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add the jalapenos, the green onion, and the red bell pepper. If you have any other vegetables that you wanna throw in there at that time, that's probably a good idea. I'm going to take some um, garlic and throw that in there too because I like that flavor. Stir that up and saute that as well. And then once that's cooked down, I will add the tomatoes. And you start just letting those tomatoes wilt and you cook that down. I season it with some salt. And I'll also season it with pepper. Mix it up good. And once it cooks down, looks like this. This is when I'm gonna add the batch of the mother, which is, again, the salsa from the previous batch. So it always has salsa from the previous batch before. Add that all in. And then you're gonna mix it all up. And then when it cooks down for some time, when it really gets mixed all in, I'm next going to squeeze in the limes, which I took two limes and I'm just gonna put it into a lemon squeezer and squeeze it in there. And then to make my life easier, I'll take some scissors and instead of chopping up the cilantro, I'll just cut it like this. And I'll pretty much do the whole bushel. I'll do the, the stems and everything because the stems are, they just, just taste like the leaves too. So it doesn't really matter. Stir it all up. And then once it's all cooked down, I will get a mason jar and a, 
what is that called? A funnel. And I'll pour some in there. When it's full, I'll take my immersion blender and then blend it all down. Once it's all blend down, the first thing I like to do is put some in a plastic container to make that for the mother for the next um, batch that I will do in the future. And I just take the rest of it and blend it all up. my immersions, immersion blender. I love this thing. I make it use, I use it with soups and stuff like that, but salsa is my favorite. And there you have it. That's how I make the salsa. And that's it. Super easy. I think the whole, the thing with the mother makes it key because I've never had any, sometimes I would make salsa and it would like taste different every single time, which is fine. It's always good. But once I made it this way, when I add like the mother of the last batch, I feel like there's something in there that makes it the same as the last time, but then it enhances the flavor, if that makes sense. And you could definitely add um, different ingredients. Like I had peppers this time around, but the batch before that, I didn't have any peppers. So I just had, I put like some cayenne pepper and some red pepper flakes for the heat. But this time I had jalapenos. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be more coming up in the near future. If there's anything that you wish to see um, or suggestions on foods I eat or cook or whatever, I'm happy to, to make that for you. Just leave it in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. Everyone who comments, I try to comment back as soon as I can. I love all of you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And did I say to subscribe? Anyways, me and Sam say we love you and take care.